Raised in a modest middle class family, Pharrell Williams shares the same story as most of us. The rest is empty with no brain, but the company. Louis Vuitton tapping musical artist and producer Pharrell Williams as its new men's creative director. Pharrell Williams. Pharrell Williams. Fast forward to today. He's a multi-platinum selling music artist. Amongst many other achievements, he also founded two globally successful fashion labels. In 2023, he took over Paris, the capital of fashion, by becoming the creative director of LV. But how did he manage to do all of this? I spent countless hours analyzing his profile and found out the secret. And it's not only his talent or creativity. Things are not as they seem. First, let's go back as far as the early 2000s to understand. I noticed something surprising. Pharrell is wearing a very distinctive hat. He almost looks ridiculous in it. The hats are very oversized, as you can see in this picture. It looks like a mauvais pas, the French word for bad taste. But he kept wearing this style of hats till today. So I dig deeper and found out the genius behind it. Because see, Pharrell is a short man. And by wearing this hat, an element that contrasts, he's able to stand out. It's in this contrast that lies the genius. Pharrell was able to direct all the attention in the room to himself. This built the first foundation to his success, and in total there are three, which I will cover in this video. Together, they form a full strategy that I will reveal in the end of the video and that you can apply to your life. Next up is a very important lesson I took from him. It's the association he managed to do. This is very powerful when used right. Let me ask you one thing. If you think about Pharrell Williams, who is the first character that comes to your mind? Jay-Z. That is not by accident. I'm not saying you should try to be Jay-Z's friend, but having important people in your circle will always shine back on you. This is why you see influencers collaborating and jumping on podcasts with other famous people. A good example here is Andrew Tate. Did you know that Andrew Tate paid to get on podcasts? And because Pharrell has been doing this since the beginning of his career, it created the snowball effect, as shown in this year's Louis Vuitton fashion show. Pharrell brought out no other than Jay-Z to rap. Together, they killed the event. Pharrell created such an iconic moment that no one will ever forget. This paved his way to becoming one of the greatest creative directors in fashion. But Pharrell would be nowhere near successful without this third strategy. And this is why Louis Vuitton decided to give him the role of creative director after Virgil's passing. Before I reveal this technique, you need to know that France is a very elitist country. Only a decade ago, it would have been impossible for an African-American to make it in the French haute couture. Pharrell Williams is only the second person of color who was able to get this position. Being a creative director for Louis Vuitton is the pinnacle of French haute couture. And precisely because of what Williams is doing, he was chosen by the French. The secret lies in breaking boundaries. This is extremely important and led to his success in the music and fashion industry. Pharrell Williams breaks boundaries across the various worlds he works in. You can't reach the level of impact he had without this type of innovation. But the good news is, there are systems you can apply. And what seems like a magic trick is actually quite simple. All Pharrell did was master three fundamentals of personal branding. I will explain you how you can do the same with a few simple examples. For the first fundamental, you need to define your personal style. Make it special to the character you are playing. Let's say you want to become a YouTuber. For your brand, you will need a unique style. Like Pharrell was using his hat, you can do something like color your hair or wear special sunglasses. That might seem familiar to you, right? Because no other than Casey Neistat did this, one of the biggest YouTubers of all time. This will make people remember you and boost your success. Next up, you need to master the fundamental strategy for personal branding, which is association. To do this, you need to reach out to people in your industry. There are actually many ways, but as you get more successful in your field, this will become easier. That's why I will give you two examples for each stage, beginner and advanced. For people just starting in their industry, you can attend events of famous people and document your journey. Here you can take pictures with this person and this will create an association effect. Also, you can pay to go on famous podcasts if money is not a problem. For those of you who are already experts in an industry and have much to offer, this becomes easier. In this case, same as with Pharrell, you need to stick to a master in your industry. Build a circle 
where you offer to exchange your brand image. Together, you will create a mutually beneficial collaboration. Now we are coming to the final step. You need to break boundaries. No matter what industry you are in, you can't follow the norm and expect better results than everyone. For your personal brand, you need to make bold moves, even if they might perform less good with your audience. This will look different in each industry, but with this example, it will become very clear to you. Let's take fashion resellers selling Birkins for profit. And by the way, guys, this is actually a very profitable niche. And some of my best clients from my content agency are in the resale business. As a reseller, you will see that most sold bags are medium priced Birkins. So from a business point of view, it would make most sense to only focus on these. But what one of my clients did was genius. To build their brand, they started breaking boundaries and also stocking crocodile Birkins. Some of them were going for over half a million dollars. Other resellers wouldn't understand this move, but it helped to manifest the branding of my client as being the most luxurious. And in the long term, they made more sales. You see, branding can be complicated. It's complicated in business as well as for your personal brand. That's why I offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you need help to build your brand, follow me on Instagram at designercommunity and send me a DM.